I thought Javina Late had her own theme music. What is this music you're playing? You know, this is for stimulus, reoccurring monthly stimulus theme music. But Javita Lay had her own theme music. I mean, that's what you get for wearing extra scarves. You're, you're, you're worthy of having your own theme music. What is this? Um, you know, goalposts have been moving all this week. <laughs> I just, I just sort of like the old days. Because the EIDL grant invite to increase your EIDL grant is not coming in chronological order. I just love it. It's just messy, just like me. Uh, and then if you applied for that EIDL increase in January, guess what, or February, guess what? You're stuck in a vortex. Oh, I just love this. It's so Javita Lake. Uh, nothing says chaos more than moving goalposts. Suddenly, everything's happening from 2020 again. You apply for an EIDL grant increase and you get stuck in a vortex. People get their money after you when you're waiting to get your money first. It just is so much... Confusion. I just love confusion. It's sort of like when people come up to me on the beach say, why are you wearing scarves in LA in the middle of 70 degree year weather? I'm Javita Light. You would know that if I had my own darn theme music at least. <laughs> that would have been made very clear to you a long time ago and still you have this thing playing. You know, can we, can we finally get my own theme music? <laughs> finally. Uh, you know, this is Evenings LA, and coming up uh, in a second, I gotta get out of here, because Sir Lauren is about to move on. Thank you for joining me on the continuations of Evenings LA. How are you? Javita Late has left the room, left the building, left the <laughs> oh, left the scarf factory. Uh, this is Evenings LA. Your lighthearted, easy breezy, uh, reverent, off the royals LA late night show. Uh, part of our extending new programming block. And tonight we're joined with Sir Loin, head of the cow lobbyist that has his input and his uh, opinions on the week's latest news uh, from Stimulus. This week we had a series of new videos from Chuck Schumer talking about uh, about puffy, puffery. Um, yeah, that puff, puff, puff. And Ron Wyden spoke about the puff, puff, puff. Also, the President of the United States debuted a new video about forced stimulus and how we need to get forced stimulus out the door. I'll take uh, Sir Loin's opinions on the subject matter uh, and he'll also be giving us his opinion about Doggy Coin. I can't wait to see Sir Lloyd's opinion about that. Um, but what a day it has been. Sir Lloyd, I mean, what do you think about uh, about the present and his push for forced stimulus? You know, the present has these new videos out. And um, what do you think about forced stimulus? I don't know. I mean, you, know, you call it forced stimulus? I call it forced stimulus. Is that the jobs plan yes that's the jobs plan uh, wasn't it called before the recovery act yeah it was called the recovery act and the infrastructure bill the infrastructure bill and, and senator coombs wants to split this in two so called stimulus 4a <laughs> yeah there's literally like a different name for this package every day whether it's the recovery act or the infrastructure bill or the fourth stimulus uh, it has more stimulus names than stimulus checks, actually, depending if you're a senator or a House member. Uh, every day it has a different name to it, and I'm just a little confused. Are you confused? Yeah, I'm a cow, and I'm even confused. Uh, but L.A. Late, I mean, why can't he get this by reconciliation? Why has the president not started this by reconciliation? It just seems like it's going very slow. And I like things slow. I like to roam. I'm a cow. <laughs> but, you know, this reconciliation starting very slowly. Well, I mean, Sir Loin, his idea is that he wants to do, look like he's trying to be bipartisan for the bill. And he's trying to reach out to the Republicans. And, you know, reconciliation takes two months. Sir Loin, as you would know, because you're a cow. Uh, yes, yeah, I, do, I do this all the time. Uh, and and it's, just taken a long, it's just taken a while for him to realize that Republicans have said, no, they're not going to do the bill by bipartisanship because it has climate in there. Climate? What type of climate? <laughs> you know, to fix the air. 
but the air's really good. I'm a cow. I'm outside. I breathe the air all the time. I just know it's good air. No, he says it's not very good. Oh, well, maybe he needs to move. <laughs> That's a good way to not do climate. You know, Repu maybe that's a new Republican position. You don't like the climate move. <laughs> Ally, the climate's really good. D.C., not so good. Maybe it's because you're in D.C. <laughs> that's an interesting approach to how to deal with climate. But you want climate. Why? Because climate gives you multiple stimulus checks. Oh, I like that. I like that theory. So this week, uh, Leader Schumer came out with a new video. And let's. I want your sirloin your opinion on this new video. Okay, let me see the video. Oh, who are these people? That is Ron Wyden on the right. <gasps> Mr. FPUC Retro. Yes, that is him, Mr. FPUC Retro. And then, uh, and then, the, uh, and that is on the left. Who is that on the left? That is uh, Cory Booker. Oh, Cory Booker from New Jersey. Uh, deliciousness. And then, who is that short guy in the middle? <laughs> that is Chuck Schumer. He looks very short compared to Ron Wyden. Uh, let's listen in and hear what they're saying in this video. Tell me what you think they're talking about in this video, Sir Lloyd. Okay. Now, like the folks I have the honor to uh, represent, have gone to the polls. And they have said yeah. that they agree with Senator Schumer and Booker and I. And I don't think they're going to accept any more dawdling from the federal government. It's kind of dawdling. He seems very angry. What is he talking about? I, you know, <laughs> he's very angry about something. Uh, you think it's FPC retro? I don't know. Let's like, listen. The federal government's been in a time warp. And one of the sure. things we said in Oregon, as we debated this, how about we come up with some policies that at least get our state into the right century on these issues? And my sense uh, is uh, with the leadership of uh, Leader Schumer and Senator Booker, uh, we're going to do everything we can at the Finance Committee, which will have jurisdiction over some of the issues that my friends have, uh, have talked about, like, like taxes, where the small business person is always telling the three of us they're not getting a fair shake. We've got a fair shake. Oh, I lo love the shakes. <laughs> this is about milk. This is about me. This is about the casino, isn't it? I just love this. This is about twelve dollar ice cream <laughs> shake. Whatever you shake, we just assume it's about the cows. Yeah, it, it may be about the cows, but let's listen a to them. Shot now at making progress. Time to move. We're ready. And one thing I love. Move, I told you, I told you he was a cow, LA late. Chuck Schumer said it's time to move on out. There we go. So LA late, what is this about? What, what is this video about? Uh, this video, Sir <laughs> Lai. <laughs> this shit, this video is not about um, shakes. <laughs> it's not about milkshakes, no. And it's not about $12 ice cream, no. So what is it about? It is about marijuana. <laughs> Mary who? Mary who? No, not Mary Jane. Mary Jane? I, I, don't, I don't know Mary Jane. Well, that, there was a cow named Mary Jane once. She was always sort of very, uh, Lucy. She was this very <laughs> free-spirited cow. Mary Jane, she was a very nice cow. She roamed away. We never found where she went. <laughs> Uh, so, Sir Lloyd, yes, they want to legalize marijuana. Oh, really? Um, what flavor? You know, do they have ice cream flavor? <laughs> Sir Lloyd, please. I, they're not really talking about flavors of, of the marijuana. They're just talking about legalizing marijuana. You know, whether it's lobsters or cows or pot. Oh, well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> so lying. I mean, let's let's listen in more to what uh, Leader Schumer says about moving on <laughs> out for the for the cows. Let's listen in. I love that uh, uh, my colleague, who's the chairman of the Finance Committee, understands and focuses on is the fact that this is also making sure that these tremendous business opportunities that are being created. That this multi-billion-dollar business is not just the sort of big uh, Wall Street-backed money uh, interest. Yeah, it's look, actually a yeah. fairness. Yeah. We don't want the big tobacco companies and the big liquor companies to swoop in and take over. The legislation we have will make sure that smaller businesses, businesses in, commu with, uh, in communities of color get the advantage because the communities of color have paid the price for decades. They should at least get something back. Amen. The three of us 
are going to be. And like, why are there their hands all in their pockets in this video? I don't, I don't know. I noticed that. Uh, Cory Booker, his hands are in his pockets. Uh, Ron Wyatt and his hands are in his pockets. What do you think are in their pockets? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think are in their pockets? They're like, moolah. I mean, they're hiding their hands. They're keeping their hands in their pockets because, you know, either they're cold. They haven't had, they've had too much $12 ice cream. Or they have their, they, they're keeping their <laughs> hands close to their money. Well, if they do have money in their pockets, it's potentially your tax dollars. Uh, but no, they, <laughs> you know, that's Ron Wyden there. He looks a little bit different than this video. Does he look different? Yeah, LA, you keep on putting up this is the picture of Ron Wyden. Uh, and that Ron Wyden just seems a little bit more, how would you say it? Um, well, more, more, <laughs> a little bit more hair than in this video, LA. Yeah, it just, it doesn't look like the same Ron Wyden. I just, I didn't know it's Ron Wyden until I looked. Yeah, what, LA, when is that video picture taken of? Like 20 years ago? Well, you know, it's maybe around this time. Oh, LA, like, please don't put up that picture, please. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I have gotten viewers saying, please don't put up that picture. Uh, meantime, the President of the United States has a new video out, Sir Loin, and this video is specifically about forced stimulus. He wants Americans to pass his forced stimulus package and get us back on the roads across the country. Oh, deliciousness. And in, in this video, he, in, he takes the initiative to talk about the history of America back on the road. And Roman, Roman, yes, that's what I do. Uh, let's listen in to see what the president says. I like your take on this, Sir Lloyd. What do you think about this video? Like doing it together. We built the interstate highway system. Wait, what, what am I watching? <laughs> uh, it's an old video, Sir Lloyd. Old video? Well, he's trying to sell me on a new infrastructure bill. Why is his video so old? <laughs> I think that's sort of the message. The White House can't afford, cannot afford a new video machine <laughs> because they got old infrastructure. I mean, just, it's, is that a video? What is that? Is this like a, it's older than eight track tape, LLA. What is that little thing? It's like a little post-it note. That, that, that's just show you the things are old at the White House. We need to improve things. Uh, LLA, I don't like the way this is going so far. <laughs> Let me listen some more. We went to the moon. Who who went to the moon? He went to the moon? No, he means the country went to the moon. You mean Doggy Coin went to the moon? No, but that's coming up later in this video, LA. <laughs> Sir Lloyd. We will be covering Doggy Coin and what's going on with Doggy Coin later in this video. But not that moon, not the not the, not the crypto moon, the, the moon moon. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lloyd. Uh let's get back then to the Then we stopped. Since the 1980s, public domestic investment has fallen substantially. What do we have to show for it? Crumbling bridges and roads? Well, that was my fault. <laughs> what do you mean it's your fault, Sir Lloyd? Uh, yeah, I, I sort of yeah, walked a little too heavy on that bridge. Sir Lloyd, that was not your fault. <laughs> Millions of Americans without safe drinking water and an internet barely available to the huge swath of the country. Last week, I released the American Jobs Plan on Oh, so LLA, it's called the American Can Jobs Plan. Yeah, and that was originally the Recovery Act. Yes, and then that's also the infrastructure bill. Yeah, uh, wait, how many more names is it going to have by the end of this video? <laughs> I don't know. You know, we got three more minutes of the video. It'll probably change a couple more times before we're done the name of the bill. I want to talk about it for a few minutes with you. But first, I want to talk to you about why investing in our country matters. When we've invested in America, in innovation, we've been rewarded beyond imagination. Take the space race. Now everybody knows we went to the moon. Wait, who went to the moon? I didn't go to the moon. LA, did you go to the moon? I, I did not go to the moon. They did not invite me. Well, he says we went to the moon. I, who went to the moon? I didn't get to go to the moon. I mean, you know, why did I not invite me? I'm the cow, I'm the, <laughs> the negotiator for the cows. Why would they not invite me? Uh, Sir Loin, it was not, it was invitation only to go to the moon. He's saying figuratively, as a community, as a nation, we went to the moon. Yeah, but I should have gone to the moon. Well, if pay, sir, pay Elon Musk some money and he will shoot you to the moon if you want to go to the moon. Uh, Sir Loin, do they have $12 ice cream on the moon? I, I don't think they do. Oh, I'm not going then. <laughs> Let's listen. It was an achievement not just for our country, but for the world. 
Our investment yielded a return far greater than landing on the moon. He talks a lot about the moon in this video, LL. Like, is this really about doggy coin? It is not about doggy coin. Do you think there's a similar? No, it's just to the moon. Everything's to the moon, LL. Baby food, digital camera sensors, airplane wing designs, satellites. All of these things came out of the money spent on space research. When we invested in the interstate highway system, we changed the way people travel and how we lived. That's not true. I, I, I still walk the same way I ever walked, LA. Well, that, he's not referring to cows, how cows roam their line. He's talking about how we travel on highways. Well, I walk on highways too, LLA. Just not when people are watching. Suddenly, a family could visit anyone across the country in a station wagon. A business in Pittsburgh could ship things more efficiently across the country to Portland. Since then, research from the federal government has led to innovations like GPS, lithium batteries, the technology behind the very phone you might be watching this on. I raise these things not to have government take credit. Lots of brilliant people in the public and private sector have contributed to our country's progress. But that's the point. The worst thing you can do is bet against the ingenuity of the American people. When we stop investing in research, infrastructure, and jobs of the future, you can bet someone else will do that investment we're not doing. Oh, I already done that, LLA. What do you mean you've done infrastructure, sir? Like, I've done infrastructure, LLA. You did not know that? <clears throat> What infrastructure have you done, Sir Lloyd? The president should hire you as the infrastructure guru. Oh, no, I've done infrastructure, LLA. What have you done? I've paved roads for other cows to walk through. That's not infrastructure, Sir Lloyd. I have cleared the way. I have eaten the lawn so other cows can walk through. And thousands of cows, I ate the lawn so they could go. I've made the path for cows, hundreds of cows to follow. That's it. That's not the type of uh, roads that he's looking for. It's mass transit, sir, LA. I Massive amounts of cows have passed. That's not the type of mass transit he's referring to. Yeah, he's not talking about cow transport. <laughs> he's talking about mass transport. Uh, just a little bit different, sir, LA. But I, I appreciate your contribution to um, to <laughs> move, moving people across. That's not funny, LA. LA. Don't make fun of cows. Uh, let's watch a little bit more. For too long, video. America has been falling back. The rest of the world is closing in and closing in on us fast. I'm asking you not just to support the bill in Congress or a government program. I'm asking you to imagine. Imagine a world where you and your family can travel coast to coast without a single tank of gas or on board a high-speed train. Imagine being able to connect to high-speed, affordable, reliable internet wherever you live. Imagine a future where we lead the world and tackle the looming threat of climate change and with American jobs and ingenuity. This isn't a hypothetical proposition. Would you like a high-speed internet for you, you and your family, Sir Lloyd? I mean, it sounds wonderful. No, Elliot, I already have it. You already have internet? I, I, I already have it, Elliot. What is it called? T-Mobile. <laughs> T-what? T-Mobile. T -T <laughs> That's your internet provider. T-Mobile. How do you spell that? T M O O O O B I L E T Mobile. <laughs> okay, this is a plan. It can happen. It's my American Jobs Plan, and you can check it out on my website. This moment in the economy calls for America, not just the private sector, but the public sector, all of us to do our part. This can be a moment that America wins the future. It's going to take every American to get there. So let's do big things. Think big. There's nothing beyond our capacity. I like that video, LA Late. Thank you, Sir Lloyd. Right. Meantime, I want to ask you about what you think about the breaking news today. Robin Hood, Massachusetts regulators are seeking to revoke Robin Hood's broker, broker license. And then Doggy Coin is under fire today. Doggy Coin is being called a likely candidate to burst the crypto bubble. Speculation, no valuation, and a major sell off could be around the corner. Sir Loin, what do you think about Doggy Coin, or do you know anything about Doggy Coin? Do you have an opinion about Doggy Coin or Crypto Coin or anything else about that? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm an innovator in crypto. <laughs> You're an innovator in crypto? Uh, yes. Uh, what, 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 do you invest in crypto? What, do you like Bitcoin or Ethereum? Who, who do you like for investing in crypto? My own coin. <laughs> your own coin? What is your own coin? 
Kawakoin, LLA. Don't you know about Kawakoin? <laughs> I've not seen Kawakoin. Is that is that traded on Coinbase? I just I need to go look it up. Uh, Kawakoin, you've not bought a Kawakoin trade. It has a how, what is this market cap? <laughs> what is the market cap of the Kawakoin? Is it bigger than Doggy Coin? Oh, it is bigger. We 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 stampede over Kawa, over Doggy Coin in just a second. Uh, I I maybe I need to look that up. <laughs> what is its market cap for the for the Kawakoin? It's you know, it's um, it has a very big heart. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lion. So, would you consider Doggy Coin a speculative investment? Absolutely, LA. and not a it's not a place for um storage of value or transactional value at all. No, LA. So, you think people are going to get burnt to Doggy Coin? Absolutely, LA. What would you expect them to do? Invest in Mukon, <laughs> Mua Coin, Mua Coin. Okay. Okay, uh, or Kawakoin. So there's Kawakoin and Muakoin. <laughs> there it is, LLA. Okay, well, I appreciate your insight tonight, Sir Lloyd. Uh, coming up this weekend, LLA, uh, Sir Lloyd is going to deliver you a little bit more of our updates. Um, I'm really excited for what's coming tomorrow, Sir Lloyd, because tomorrow we could see more third stimulus checks landing by direct deposit. We'll see if Treasury sent out another set of stimulus checks today and tomorrow we'll see that potentially in the irs tool um but uh with that tomorrow's going to be a big day uh as the push for four stimulus heats up so Lauren, will you join me tomorrow for uh another night of uh la late night <gasps> depends on how much you pay LA late. <laughs> <laughs> can I pay you in cow coin? Oh, you can pay me in cow coin. I appreciate that, Sir Lloyd. Have a great evening and stay informed, stay focused, and stay of ally for more.